Me yum. My name is Kathleen Chilcote Wallace. I live in San Diego, California, the home of four indigenous groups, the Kumeyaay, the Luceño, the Cupeño, and the Cahuilla people. I am Luceño, and I am an enrolled member of the San Luis Rey Band of Mission Indians. Today, we are still here living on our traditional lands, caring for those lands as we continue to speak our languages, sing our songs, and tell our stories. My ancestors are from the San Luis Rey Valley, which is located in the northern part of San Diego County. The valley runs from the coast all the way to the foothills and the San Luis Rey River runs through it. And it is in this valley where the stories that I'm going to share today were first told hundreds and hundreds of years ago by Luceno storytellers. I'm going to share today my own retelling of two very old stories. And each of them begins with these words. Kalgurpuna, Yamaik Yamaik. Now, Yamaik Yamaik means long, long ago. Kalgurpuna means I wasn't there. I didn't see it with my own two eyes, but this is what I'm told happened. We'll begin with the first musicians. Kalgurpuna, Yamaik Yamaik. Music was invented in the early days when the earth was young and the animals could talk. And the first musicians were deer, bear, mountain lion, coyote, frog, rabbit, lizard, and a few others. And the first instrument was a flute. It was made from a piece of cane, or a hollowed out piece of elderberry wood. It had four holes and it was very hard to play. Now it was decided that there would be a contest among the animal people to see who could compose the best song. And it was decided that each song was to be played from beginning to end in just one breath. The animal people scattered across the land, each to compose their songs in secret. They came back together a few days later at the appointed time and place, each to play in turn, one against the other, with the winner of each set moving ahead to play again. At the end of the contest, the last musician would be the winner. Now Coyote was clever enough to compose his song with pauses in each measure and at each pause he would take a secret breath and so each time he played he was able to complete his song all the way to the end. He won each competition and continued on in the contest. Now Lizard had been standing off to the side watching as Coyote played each time. And finally it was Lizard's turn. Lizard went over and began to play a beautiful song. And his song had pauses in each measure. And in each measure Lizard took a secret breath. And he was able to play to the end of his song. Next, it was Coyote's turn again, and he was so flustered by Lizard's excellent playing that he completely forgot to pause in each measure, and he for completely forgot to take that secret breath, and Coyote was unable to play to the end of his song. And so it was that Lizard was the winner 
of the first music contest among the animal people. Later, when human beings began to walk on earth, the animal people gave the flute to them to comfort and guide them in their journey through life. Hamutab, the end. Next, I would like to share another old story. It's called Katuktu. Kalburkuna, you might, you might. In the early days, when the first people lived upon the land, the Luceno people lived peacefully in their village. They lived in houses made from arroyo willow and tule reeds, which are called kicha. The land gave them all of the resources that they needed, and they were very careful to care for the land and those resources, never taking more than they needed always leaving something for another day. It was a beautiful day as many uh, people worked around the village taking care of their daily tasks when suddenly there was an alarm. Someone was shouting that it was time to leave the village. The ocean had, had risen up and was beginning to flood the San Luis Rey Valley. The pe people quickly ran to their kicha and they grabbed baskets and carrying nets and they filled them with whatever was nearby, whatever supplies they could quickly um, grab. They gathered up their children and their babies and they began to leave the village. The young men helped the elders carrying those who could no longer walk quickly. All of the Luceno people in the village ran toward a little hill called Katuktu. They climbed to the top of Katuktu and from there they could see the entire valley and they watched as the water continued to rise and rise, covering the hills and the tall mountains that surrounded the valley. But as the water rose, so did Katuktu. It rose higher and higher, keeping the people safe. Eventually, the water rolled back into the ocean, and the people were able to climb down from Katuktu and return to their village to rebuild. The mighty hill Katuktu had saved the Luceno people. Today, Katuktu is known as Moro Hill and is located in the Bonzel area in the northern part of San Diego County. And if you ever climb to the top of Katuktu, as I have done, you will see that there are still bits of ash and shell and pebbles reminding us of the people who once stayed there. And if you listen very carefully, you will hear the songs of the ancestors in the wind thanking Katuktu for saving them. Hamutab, the end. Noshun Lobe.